<laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. You're right. Up 25. Yeah. Might just keep it on the ground. We'll see, though. Well, no, you were right, Elmer. They want to throw it. Ten. There he is, Dalen Burney. Second time tonight that they've hit him on another nice pass. But St. V going to be required to punt here. It's a bootleg pass again. Luke Lindsay has played a really nice game. Yes, he day. has. He's a good quarterback. He does, he does good things. Well, Hoover completely back to reevaluating what next week is going to be like now. They have a week to think about the rivalry with Jackson and figure out if they can win that game. Tornow calls for a fair catch. Hoover will have the ball when we come back. Might be their final possession of the game. Stay with us. Welcome to Friends and Family Credit Union, where we believe every member is a friend of the family. Hi, I'm Nick Langenfeld, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. We provide financial needs in the most reasonable and cost-effective way. What are you waiting for? Stop in one of our locations today to become a friend of the family. At AltCare, you matter. When we answer your call or meet with you in person, you are the top priority. We work with your physician, pharmacy, and over 7,300 other providers. We want to be your trusted resource. We invest in collaboration, our youth, and our community, which we continue to serve with gratitude. Commitment and community were the reasons we started over 30 years ago. And why we are still here today. All okay. here, where you matter. Back here in North Canton. Bercher gives to Grigualo. Reason why we're saying Bercher, another reminder if you're just tuning in, Connor Ashby went down in the second quarter when Hoover was down in this game, just 14 to 10. And since then, everything has changed. It's been 21 unanswered. Bercher Gregualo again, and Adam Gregualo close to a first down. He's run pretty hard tonight. Yes, he has. There's times he's really taking it hard up into the middle. But you know what? Again, it, it, it comes back to the whole thing of where you can't rely on that. Despite that being a, an integral part of your offense, it's made better by the fact that Ashby can complete passes and make plays with his feet. Oh, I don't know if he made it. Stonewalled there once he got into the yeah. line was Grigualo. Just for Hoover's sake, you just hope that he's back next week and ready to play to make it, you know, because that's a big rivalry game. Well, and if Jackson finds out tonight that they've clinched a playoff spot, then, you know, not that that takes oh, away. Still from, big it's again. still big for, yeah. for Jackson, but fourth down here. And Coach Baum for Hoover takes a timeout. 240. Cleveland Browns will play Sunday, and you can listen to the game on 1480 WHBC. 2.30 with the pregame as we lead you up to kickoff at Foxborough, New England. The Patriots are undefeated. Browns are two and four coming off of their bye week. Obviously a lot on the line for the Cleveland Browns in this game. Getting to three and four and handing New England their first loss would be a monumental victory this year for this team. 
Fourth and short here for Hoover. Oh, now it's first down. See if they call false starter offsides. It's a first down. You know, so much of Hoover's year, according to Coach Brian Bond this year too, had been the tough schedule that they played. He said you get bonus football if you beat another good team. And they have two good teams left on their schedule. One was St. V, the other is next week against Jackson. Bercher to throw, going deep. Drew Johnson, just too far. We're still debating our player of the game here afterwards. <laughs> well, maybe if we can get a look at some numbers here in a moment, we can try to figure that out. Nice hard run there. First down. Wallow running with the football here and picks up a first down. All on his own merit. That's a nice run for Hoover there. One of his better runs of the night. Nice run by Gregualo here, Elmer. You know, we, 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 we've talked about, you know, quarterback going down. But there's a lot of kids for the Hoover team that are still playing really hard. They are. They're still playing hard. Well, and, and when I've said all the things that I've said, they've never been in disrespect of, of the other kids yeah. for Hoover. It's just that I know, I know how much he means to not just the team, but the community. I mean, he's, but, you know, and I get that a lot of other kids mean the same thing sure, too, but sure. it's, it's you a know. Team, it's a team sport team sport but when you've got a kid that's that special it just makes things different it does well and maybe, yeah, maybe yeah. I'm putting too much stock into it again you know if you've been in with football enough and coaching enough you're gonna have injuries to key players at times in key situations. And you know, you, you hear the next man up philosophy, you know, uh, well, you was, have to have that sometimes. Well, and that was something we talked to Coach Baum about this week. We brought up the word resiliency to him and he said he liked that word to describe his Vikings in his fifth year. He, he said they always believe that they can come back. But I, I think, and I guess this is where I would place the counter argument to what you're saying is that I think part of the reason they believe in that resiliency is because a kid like Connor Ashby so many times this year has brought them back from the dead mm -hmm. you know with him on the field they always have a chance to do something but then the other players have to pick it up they do they other they players have to do. pick it up and that's what they're going to have to do for next week well unless he comes back Unless he comes back. But, but even for, then. But next week, I mean, they're playing for all the marbles. But even then, there has to be a learning experience that, you know, if you lose that kid, yep. someone has to be willing to pick up the slack. Yep. yep. And like I say, you know, you look at like 22 and you look at the tailback. Uh, I, I don't think those kids have quit. They're playing hard. No. I, I mean, they're and, playing and real I think hard. Bercher's done the best that he can. Yeah. Back to throw here. Once Brock Henny. Henny. Did somebody catch it? No. Does not come away with it. Colin Fleming was there with another pass breakup. Entered the game with seven on the year, plus a pick. This is a. 
St. V team now that is an astronomical plus 16 in the turnover margin. <laughs> they have 21 takeaways this year that's as a defense. I mean, that's really good. That's very good. Maybe that's why they're going to the playoffs. <laughs> Bercher to throw on the third down, steps up. Oh. Wants to go deep for Henny. Henny. Nice Hold catch. it in. What a catch by Brock Henny. Nice job by Bercher to step yeah. up there and make that throw as well. First and goal now. Nice catch. Kid likes to throw it deep, that's for sure. He does. <laughs> he likes to go deep. But you can't play for jump balls the whole game. <laughs> Hand off to Grigualo. Adam Grigualo is Touchdown. in from three yards out. Second rushing touchdown of the night for Adam Grigualo. And his 12th of the year. And Hoover. Finally on the scoreboard again. Well, is that a positive to build on for next week? Oh, it sure it is. They just scored a touchdown. They're hard to come by. <laughs> they don't give those away. Bolas's kick is up and it is good. They caught it. Just a little bit too late. They woke up. A little bit too late. Well, either that or or St. V kind of took the foot off the gas. Yeah. But that's hard because again, it's a kid in, in Bercher who's you know, thrown so few passes this year, mm -hmm. if any at all. I wonder uh, I think how much he's played this year. You know, I guess that's the junior. point, though. I mean, it's like if you know, if you're, if you're in that position where you're normally used to being the backup. I mean, yeah, you 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 take probably scout team reps during the week, and you, you know, you do certain things. Yeah. But you know, other than that, I mean, you're not, you're not used to being thrust into this situation. That doesn't change things. And, and again, in a high school level, you know, you don't get a whole lot of work with the second team. You don't have enough time in the day. These kids, you know, these kids are going to class and everything else. Uh, well, Luke Lindsay is back deep here for St. V. Obviously, get on side kick here. Could be. Nope. No. Oh, and you just fall down. There you go. 113 left. Well, both teams had the same kind of mantra coming into the night, which was you win and you get in. And in the case of St. Vincent, St. Mary, They've taken care of their end of that yes, bargain deal that was for sale tonight. And the pressure's on Hoover for next week. Yeah, they have one week to prepare for their season. Yep. Extended season. And it's not, it's not the first time that it's come down to that game. They won that game yep. last year. It was an absolute thriller. As Lindsey puts a knee on it, he'll probably have to do that one more time. Well, we'll be back with you next week, Friday night. Now that game's here next, next week? It is. is it is. Okay. We'll be back with you, though, next week. We'll be Friday night. 
Tusla at Fairless, the Battle of the Blue Cup. A couple of storied programs there. Luke Lindsay takes his final snap. And then Saturday, of course, will be at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium for the, the big one. Maslin and McKinley next week. That'll be live television coverage of that game. But on a night where head coach Bobby Nickel in his second year at St. V needed a win for his first postseason berth, his kids follow through. Final look at the Old Carolina Barbecue Company scoreboard for the moment being St. V, a winner, 35 to 17. When we come back, we'll wrap everything up for you here from Memorial Stadium. Skeppers likes to keep an eye on her neighborhood, like MCTV watches out for our neighbors to make sure everything runs smoothly for our customers. From our technicians in the field to our engineering experts behind the scenes, we use top technology to keep your internet, TV, and phone connected. Plus, expert local technical support and friendly people to greet you. Everything in the neighborhood, the way it should be. MCTV, we go the extra smile. Community, politics, world news, and more. Find it all on The Gary Rivers Show, 10 a.m. till noon, weekdays on News Talk 1480, WHBC, and online at whbc.com. One, ladies and gentlemen, two, are you ready? One, two, three, four. I feel this is going to be a big day. Life were only like this. Wouldn't want to miss this. Looking forward to it. What's this all about? This is very exciting. So cool. You two, would Great. Mind if I have a look? I'm delighted to be here. Amen. I am. Well, very groovy, very groovy. We have some fun today. I like it. I like it a lot. That's all there is to it. I've heard a lot about you. I've heard a lot about you, too. WHBC presents the High School Football TV Game of the Week. The Alt Care TV Game of the Week is brought to you by Alt Care, Altman Health Foundation, CSE Federal Credit Union, MCTV, Northern Ohio Honda Dealers, Old Carolina Barbecue, SARDA, and Friends and Family Credit Union and can be seen locally on this TV, Canton. And we return back in here for the final time tonight to North Canton Hoover as the Vikings fall to five and four. St. V improves to seven and two and most likely clinches their playoff spot. Final score 35-17, Hoover leaves this game banged up and hoping that next week will end in a win against Jackson here at home as they will play for their playoff life next week here at home. Final couple things to look at. First, the stats. Go ahead, Elmer. Okay, for St. V's rushing, 155 yards. For Hoover, 88 yards passing. St. V's, 171. Uh, Hoover, 149. First downs for St. V's, 18. And for Hoover, 16. Turnovers, which was big. Three for Hoover, zero for St. V's. And penalties, they were equal. Uh, both had six. One had uh, St. Vincent's had 70 yards, and Hoover had 60 yards in the six penalties. So pretty uh, interesting statistics, kind of skewed by the fact that <laughs> Hoover played without their quarterback. So passing the ball late in the game became very much so a chore for them. Well, as for our player of the game, the Altman Health Foundation player of the game, we went with George Lindberger from St. Vincent, St. Mary. 
the cheesehead himself. Here's a look at that first touchdown of the night. Great stiff arm. Finished the night 22 carries, 114 yards, and a score. He is a he's a tough kid. And the best part of it, he's only a sophomore. He, he's going to be around for a while. He's I I like watching that kid play. There's no question about that. They have a lot returning next year. I yes, they do. About St. If B, you so. look at if you look at their personnel, uh, I think that they I counted 17 people uh, returning. They're going to be good. Uh, yeah. So George Limberger, our player of the game, and uh, last order of business to get here here the uh, rock solid play of the game. Brought to you by Friends and Family Credit Union, Darian Lewis, Elmer. He, this kid's all over the place. I mean, uh, the only thing we didn't see him at running back. <laughs> yeah, but he carried <laughs> the ball tonight. <laughs> but he got the ball. He got the ball on the jet sweep and scored. He had and two what two interceptions? Yeah, two picks, uh, two catches for 88 yards, one rush for 11 yards and a score, and the two oh. interceptions. And plus, he had a punt return that was pretty dynamic for about 15 yards well i wonder if he drove the bus on the way down that's about the only thing left he didn't do in this game uh, uh, judging from the fact <laughs> that it's probably illegal he probably didn't do that but if i if he could <laughs> he I'm probably would i'm sure he and, would and do it very well and do it very well well he's Elmer, a he's a great athlete and he's a junior he is he's he is. a junior he's he, smooth out there he will be back next year yeah. and, and he is a treat to watch for st p well elmer and i are back with you again next week as i said friday night we're at fairless tussle at fairless the battle for the blue cup then saturday maslin at mckinley in the 130th battle of the bulldogs and the tigers so for elmer sheets for the entire crew in the uh Van down below, Billy Smith and our image video crew. Noah Hiles on the sideline, thanks to our statisticians here at Hoover. I'm John Bozica signing off tonight from North Canton's Memorial Stadium. The Vikings need a win next week over Jackson to clinch a playoff spot, but St. V has punched their ticket with a win 35 to 17 over Hoover. Have a great night, everyone.